Are you constantly switching between tasks, struggling to keep up with meeting notes, or trying to remember that key detail from a recent presentation? Well, lucky for you, 8AI for Mac might be the solution you're looking for. This AI powered assistant not only organizes your meetings and notes, but also helps streamline productivity with a smart, intuitive experience. I want to jump right in and talk about this app and thank them for sponsoring this video. If you're new to the channel, make sure to hit that like button and subscribe as I review different SaaS products like these every week. So today we're gonna explore what makes 8AI stand out for the Mac and its users. And by the end of this video, I hope you'll understand that AI like this one can really fit into your workflow and help your productivity needs. So first and foremost, let's talk about why Aid AI is designed to enhance and elevate your personal productivity. It is a meeting assistant. A large benefit of the meeting assistant is how it supports over 100 languages for transcription and comes with dual recording capabilities for both microphone and computer. This is especially helpful for meetings with international teams or capturing every detail, including both spoken and written content so that you're never left scrambling for notes afterwards. You can easily open the meetings option here, and you'll see that I have the ability to press plus, go to my system settings and allow the product to record. And then after that's done, you'll see that I can simply record what's going on. And during this recording, it's gonna transcribe and screen record what's going on. This is great for every meeting as a lot of people end up getting distracted by writing down notes. And while there is something to be said about the recall of writing something down, some people just don't seem to do that well and they're actually more auditory learners. So when working in a meeting, it's great to have something record and have it as reference as well, because to be honest, I don't really do a great job of engaging with customers unless I'm not writing notes, but actively trying to find ways to respond and collaborate on meetings. So this is a really great feature. When I'm done recording, you'll see that I can click on this and, and you have an actual recording here, which can go on multiple different displays, not only your built-in display, but also another one too. So I'm a huge fan of the way this works. I think it's actually amazing that we have this capability. And when it's over, not only does it have the ability to screen record and whatnot, but also you'll actually get a transcription. You'll see that it transcribes it, which you also have the ability to easily share with this right here. And you can actually merge other ones inside of it as well. And then all your meetings are tracked day by day here. What I really like about 8AI is another feature called Recall. And it's the fact that it can act like a personal historian for your workflow. It lets you quickly search and retrieve specific details from previous meetings documents, and even web pages. This is perfect for tracking down key information when you need it most and saves you from that ridiculous search through disorganized files that most people have to deal with. And you'll see it's basically utilizing the large language model of ChatGPT and at a pricing level, you can choose between the free or the premium and in free, you get to utilize three GPT 3.5 for this, but on premium you get GPT-4 and you can interact with and analyze the content of your screen directly on your Mac as well. As you can see, there's screen mode on, which is really cool. And if I wanted to, I could ask it, what am I looking at on my web page if I was in the premium version? And it would actually tell me. But besides that, I have the ability to interact with this as I would any other product that has a large language model. And what's really convenient for this is if you go to the meetings and do you grab the transcription from any of these? If you think about it, you could always go back and summarize the meeting transcriptions using the AI. And overall, this just works great as a AI assistant on here. So say I need to respond to the email below, please give me a response to them affirming that we will complete the work ASAP. So this is just an email I got from a client about uh, completing a uh, video edit. As you can see really quickly, gives me a great response. I can tweak it, I can share it by pressing the share button, I can copy it out, very easy. I also just wanna take a note for this that you also have the ability to just simply press screen capture or audio capture here. So if I press audio capture, this is an option that I think is really cool because all I'm doing essentially is giving you the capabilities of a voice memo and then implementing it into an AI product. So let's stop the audio capture real quick and just open up the product. And you'll see in my story log here, which kind of tracks where I'm at in interacting with it, that 
the story log shows everything that I've been doing, like the write-up for the email or the recording of the meeting, very cool stuff. And you'll see here that that 10 second recording that I just did for the audio note actually gets captured too and has a transcription that it'll build out as well. And it has a auto detection for language and will make a transcription as well. Now, one of the best features for probably the majority of you, if you're concerned about privacy, is that Aid AI has an incognito mode, which allows discrete recording without appearing in active meeting applications. So as you notice, those screen recordings are essentially going to not pop up as like an AI recorder during the calls. And this is especially useful when capturing sensitive information or operating in professional environments where being subtle is a little bit more key. Obviously, you want to make sure that you're not doing anything nefarious with this and that you are giving somebody permission to do it in most circumstances, but just wanted to call it out since incognito mode is a great option for many people. Just keep things subtle. It's very simple. Aid AI is not just your average type something in a chat and then you have, you know, your built-in chat GPT model sort of integration bot. It's, it's not like that. What it is, is it's actually that plus context to what you're interacting with on your computer and the ability to record everything that's going on so you have that reference data for later for it to utilize. 8AI is going to be that next level of AI implementation into your workflow if you let it be the case. So with that being said, I'd like to say one last thing, which is I know you're probably thinking all of this stuff is great, but what about privacy? And Aid AI's data privacy measures are amongst its strongest assets as all data is stored locally on your Mac rather than the cloud, ensuring that the sensitive data remains secure. This means that it's a great choice for fields where confidentiality is huge, like healthcare and legal. So make sure that you know when you're going into this, sure it's gonna reference all of this context, like what's on your screen and what you've recorded or added to it before, but it's not gonna be out there on the cloud. Don't worry about that. And that's why I was happy when they reached out to sponsor this video. So with that being said, please hit that link down below and try AI today. Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you in the next one.